and still talking about insecurity until Leah Sharibu is freed from the captivity of terrorists, the call for a release will be heightened. These were words at the launch of a book in her honor as a heroine of the Christian faith, put together by a cleric, Pastor Rafiu Kuteyi, the report. Arriving for the event, though a cherry one, but the crux here is very unpalatable. It is a book launch in honor of 19-year-old Leah Sharibu, who has been in Boko Haram's captivity since she was 15. Four years on, the narration hasn't changed. Very little has been said about her since she's been in captivity. There have been rumors, something said, but do we know if it's true? We can just say that there are rumors even up to now. You know, there's no verified information on her welfare and well-being, on what exactly is happening to her up till date. The 218-paged book with seven chapters emphasizes Leah's resoluteness in the face of captivity, a move celebrated more in the Christendom. Despite the pains of remaining in captivity, Leah still trusts God. And like many of us, the author observed that this young girl will not consider her life more important than her faith. She treasured her faith more than her own life and brought to bear the famous Queen Esther quote of if I perish, the Nigerian government, while counting on the support of other non-state actors, need to intensify its efforts to secure the release of Leah and in good time too. The author asserts that although the plight of Leah remains the primary focus of this book, the heart of the author, and I think, and I'm sure the heart of everybody in this hall, also go out to every other victim of the heinous crime of kidnapping and terrorism across Nigeria and the world at large. February 19, 2018, in Dapchi, Yobe State, a dark night where daredevils kidnapped 110 secondary school girls, including Leah, from their hostel. Other girls have long been released, but one. There is a date for all those who are misleading our youth and who are politicizing issues of religion, issues of ethnicity, and uh, uh, you know what have you, and using these to divide us as a nation. You see, as our people will say, there is never any smoke without a fire. And anyone who is preaching evil or teaching evil to, to young people, to children, and breeding wickedness in a nation should be ready for disaster. As a matter of fact, the way forward are in the book. Maybe you need to read the book, you know, for governments to pay more attention to the security officers, their welfare, remuneration, equip them better than they are now. Then, as a matter of fact, social welfare for the people, because the way it is now in the country, you discover that uh, most of our youths, able bodies, they are idle. And uh, so it, it becomes very easier for them, for the terrorist group, to engage them and to employ them. In captivity, she becomes the heroine of faith, as all eyes are on the government of Muhammadu Buhari to fulfill its promises of freeing Leah Sharibu. Loretta Chiogo, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.